Remember to read the disclaimer. And also remember that my Patreon supporters got to see preview images, work in progress shots, and high resolution images of the completed product. If you want to join them, all you have to do is support me even the smallest amount. It helps. Hey out there, this is Wake Angel 2001 and I'm coming at you with an original custom. Uh, this is to celebrate my getting back into Pokemon after more than a decade of absence. It is Laurentis, the Mantis Pokemon. Um, you know, I think I might have a thing for bug Pokemon because way back in my high school days, I remember Scyther was my favorite from the first generation and Heracross is my favorite from the second generation. So yeah, I guess I kind of have a thing for bugs. Um, about all the intervening generations, I don't really know them very intimately because I didn't play any of those games. I went straight to Generation 7, and this is my favorite from that. Uh, now, the reason, one of the reasons she became my favorite is because she's based off of the real-life Orchid Mantis. Uh, Orchid Mantises are uh, a, a type of mantis that resembles a flower, and they attract, they attract insects that wish to pollinate the flower, and, um, and then they, you know, grab and eat them. And the disguise is so convincing that sometimes insects actually prefer them over real flowers. Uh, yeah, the Orchid Mantis is one of those demonstrations of both the beauty and cruelty of nature. So it seemed to be the perfect candidate to make a Pokemon out of, and I can't believe it took until Generation 7 for that to happen. Although, weirdly enough, Lurantis looks like a bug, but she's a pure grass type. She, why isn't she a bug grass? That, that would have made so much more sense. She even learns bug type moves. Anyway, enough about Pokemon and Mantises. Let's uh, actually get to making the toy. Oh, by the way, I know that Lurantis has a 50% chance of being male, but the Lurantis in my party, which I named Orchid, uh, is female. So if I refer to her with feminine pronouns, it's because I'm projecting my own party member into it. Uh, so yes, as you can see, this is that Twilight Sparkle. Um, when I bought these toys, I didn't even have the Pokemon game, so I had no idea that the first custom I would make with one would be a Lurantis, but here we are. So as you can see, I already started modifying the feet when I took the dismantled photo. Um, but, you know, like, Lurantis doesn't have big feet sticking out of skinny legs. She has, like, pajama bottom looking pants with little tiny feet sticking out. So um, once the feet hardened, I sculpted on more to give her the big pajama bottom looking shins. Uh, we'll get to the legs later. For now, let's take a look at the head. Uh, the head was kind of awkward because um, it uh, Lorantis doesn't have a big forehead. You know, that's kind of the whole thing about being a bug. Bugs aren't really known for foreheads. So I kind of had to cut Twilight Sparkle's head in half. Uh, I filled in the void, her head is quite hollow, with some tissue so that it will be a nice filler without overweighing the head. And um, I cut the petals um, out of uh, out of craft foam. Uh, this way I could get their precise shapes in without having to worry about them slumping and as they harden, you know? So uh, with the petals and all the sculpt in place, um, I don't know, for some reason she kind of makes me think of 4chan. Like, I think, like, uh, it's probably because of the four pigtails look. It kind of looks like the 4chan mascot. I don't, I don't know what the 4chan mascot's named. Of course, uh, once, once it's actually painted, it looks a lot more like an actual Lurantis. I'm like, oh yeah, that's a Lurantis head. Gotcha. Uh, so, Twilight Sparkle's body was largely unmodified. It's uh, pretty much mostly a repaint, although she would need some uh, more stuff made out of craft foam. There's quite a lot of craft foam in this one. Uh, first, her skirts. Uh, this is the uh, Laurentis skirt uh, seen cut out of the foam. Um, I traced the skirt that the Twilight Sparkle figure came with so that would have a good measurement for what goes around her waist. Uh, but aside from that, it's uh, you know just cut into shape. Uh, she also has a big old pair of wings, or should I say petals that look like wings, uh, which uh, is again just a big cutout from some uh, craft foam. Uh, so let's go on to something that required some real fabrication besides the head, and that would be her hands. Can you call these hands? I'm going to go with it because um, we don't really have a, like, I don't want to call them giant sights because they're too cute for that. They actually look more like pea pods than sights. Like, Scyther has sights. Lorantis has just 
big old cuddly things with a couple of sharp bits at the tips. Okay, so uh, Twilight Sparkle had hands, but no wrists, of course. So I cut the figure's hands off, and then used my Dremel to drill into the forearms, making a hollow space that I could stick a Figma joint into. And on the other end of that Figma joint, I sculpted a little stub of epoxy sculpt in a vague shape that would uh, go inside of the actual claws, which are, again, made out of craft foam. Um, they actually taper into a nice natural pea pod shape thanks to the fill-in material at the wrist. A uh, good bit of foresight on my part. And uh, with the proper pink job, they look like those big pink and white uh, pea pods that pass for Lurantis' scythe claw things. So with all the parts made, let's put the Lurantis figure back together so you can see what she looks like. And there she is! You know, a long time ago, I made some Pokemon Trainer OCs, um, but... And I have used Pokemon figures to make customs, like when I used that Machamp to make Shiva Shredder. But this is the first time that I've actually made a Pokemon action figure. So, yeah, here's a first from me, huh? Look at that. Uh, so my very first action figure of a Pokemon. Um, and yes, since I transplanted the Figma joints, she has full movement in her wrist, both rotationally and swiveling, so she can take on lots of mantis-like poses. And, um, you know, she just looks so good. The only problem is, you know, the misplaced thigh swivel for, for, the, for the base figure, but nothing I can do to change that. So I really hope you like my first Pokemon figure. And um, I have more stuff coming for later in the month, uh, some really special things, hopefully. And I hope you guys stick around. See you next time.